Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On March 29, 2024, South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, proudly announced the nationwide deployment of the advanced TPQ 74K counter battery radar system, marking a significant milestone in the country's efforts to enhance its readiness against potential provocations from North Korea. This deployment comes after a comprehensive seven-year development phase initiated in 2018, specifically aimed at countering North Korean artillery attacks, which pose a substantial threat to South Korea's frontline islands in the Yellow Sea and the densely populated Greater Seoul area. The TPQ 74K radar, developed by South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, represents a major leap forward in military surveillance and defense capabilities, meticulously tailored to mitigate the artillery threat from North Korea. Utilizing cutting edge active electronically scanned array AESA, technology, the TPQ 74K boasts unparalleled detection capabilities, enabling it to track multiple targets simultaneously with exceptional precision, even in environments rife with electronic interference. Its emphasis on mobility ensures swift deployment across various terrains, crucial for adapting to evolving tactical scenarios on the ground. Furthermore, its transportable nature allows for rapid repositioning to safeguard key strategic areas such as the Greater Seoul Area and Frontline Islands in the Yellow Sea. The radar's stealth capabilities, augmented by AESA technology, render it difficult for adversaries to detect and target, thereby solidifying its role as a cornerstone of South Korea's defensive strategy against North Korean artillery threats. DAPA has confirmed the full operational deployment of the TPQ 74K across Army Corps units nationwide, as well as for the Marine Corps stationed on border islands, cementing the radar status as a linchpin of the country's artillery combat strategy. Lee Myung, head of DAPA's Firepower Program Department, emphasized the significance of this deployment, stating, This deployment will substantially improve our capabilities to detect enemy artillery shells and greatly contribute to strengthening our military's artillery forces. Lee also underscored the TPQ 74K radar's potential in the global defense market, especially if exported alongside South Korea's indigenous K 9 self propelled howitzers, which could further bolster South Korea's position in international defense markets, leveraging its advanced military technology. The importance of this deployment cannot be overstated, particularly given North Korea's extensive artillery capabilities. With one of the world's largest artillery forces, North Korea has stationed numerous long-range artillery units capable of striking the wider Seoul area, posing a constant threat to South Korea's security. This initiative follows the tragic 2010 bombardment of Yeonpyeong Island by North Korea, resulting in the death of four South Koreans and heightened tensions on the peninsula. South Korea's completion of the TPQ 74K radar deployment represents a significant step forward in securing its territory from North Korean military aggression, underscoring its commitment to safeguarding its citizens and deterring potential provocations. That's all for now. See you later.